Hey everyone, Madsen here, and let me ask you a question. Have you ever asked a player you look up to advices in order to progress only to be greeted with a sentence like Well, it depends, or an overall barebone answer that ended up not helping you that much? Well, there's a reason to that, and in this video I'm going to try to make you not only understand why that is, but also how to improve as a player. Now, let's set up the stage first. Ion, like most other real-time PvP games, has multiple layers to its combat system. Understanding what those layers are is pretty much the first step to improving as a player. First, there are what most people call fundamentals. Fundamentals represent the basic understanding of the game, mechanics related to your class. They are basically your bread and butter, what you'll be doing in most fights. These basics pretty much boils down to Movement, how you move, interact with your environment and the in-game movement related bonuses. Cooldown management, how and when you use your buffs, stun locks, CCs, etc. Weaving, the act of adding normal attacks in between skills, deciding when it's appropriate or not. Following, being able to react to where your target is going in order to maximize your offensive phase. Covering, knowing how to cover certain status in order to prevent them from being dispelled by your potion. Having a strong understanding of your fundamentals alone should get you far, but you'll always reach war against some player, which brings us to our next point. Again, like in most PvP games, Ion's PvP is strongly based around reads. A read is the act of predicting the next action of your opponent and acting accordingly in order to stay on top of the situation. If you only stick to your fundamentals and go headfirst into a fight, chances are you'll end up meeting in a matchup wall or someone who gets in your head and outplays you to oblivion. On the same note, trying to read too much into your opponent can backfire pretty hard. Reads have to complement your fundamentals, not the other way around. Balancing both is usually key to victory. But reads alone have their own problem in that. If you keep on doing the same thing over and over to counter something your opponent does, he'll pick up on it and counter your read. To avoid that, you need... When fighting an opponent, sometimes doing something out of the ordinary will mess with its momentum, especially if this opponent is used to fight against you. Coming up with different strategies to mix up your combat style is key to messing with your opponent's ability to read and prevent it from getting ahead of you. Another way to do that is by baiting it. Baiting be the act of doing something, predicting that your opponent will react to what you did in a certain way only to have it backfire at it. With the stage not being set, let's illustrate all of what I just described by analyzing a duel. We'll be using this clip from my Assassin 5.0 PvP video that I made a few months ago, which is a duel against a gladiator I was used to battle against. Shenanigans happens right as the duel begin. First, I place in a wave in an ambush. Since he has already dueled me in the past, he knows it's not worth it to take any more and remove shock instantly. Since I know he has a tendency of using the knockdown phase 2 on his remove shock, I then use my vision to blind him and prevent him from doing so. I then use the few seconds of blind I have at my disposition to begin covering a blind on him. I know that my blind was timed in a way that, as soon as my massacre goes off, so will the vision blind. Knowing that, he comes back to add me to try and put an ether hold on me before I finish covering my blind. Seeing that, and knowing what he's up to, I immediately use my forward leap to safely finish covering him while I'm just 3 meters too far for him to stun me. With that done, I now have 5 seconds to get cheap damage in and carve enough rune to place an ether hold with my killer's eye before he gets rid of the blind. I then use the Aether Ode, take full advantage of my Dagger Oath buff by placing myself behind and busting him until the hold is down. A few milliseconds before it ends, I use my Fleeing Poster, Calming Whisper and Aether Twist to prevent 2 6 from happening. Getting stunned as he exits the Aether Ode and getting bind by a lockdown. I then get some more chip damage while the buff lingers, knowing that he won't be able to do any impactful harm. Then, use my beast sleep as my flying posture ends to dodge a potential AoE, and to get some space to use my sensory boost in order to finish him safely without having to worry about a sudden berserking stunlock coming. Everything in this fight was done according to what I explained earlier, from fundamentals to mix-ups. <laughs> 
But now, you might be wondering, why is it then that I always seem to get that well, it depends answer then? Wouldn't applying that same chain of event work? And to that I'd answer, against this particular player in this particular situation? Maybe, but against another player, even with the same gear and class, you might have to do things differently. Ion's PvP is like a real-time game of chess, with the objective of PvP impact being to push your opponent against the wall until you hit checkmate. The ability to notice small details and act accordingly in a matter of milliseconds is what separates a good player from an amazing player. You can view it this way. Every single action taken by both yourself and your opponent generates a new string of possible events, which themselves generate a new string of possible events. No two PvP impact would look the same because of that, and that is the reason why there is no set in stone answer to your question. The only way to improve is by perfecting your fundamentals, sharpening your reflexes and trying to come up with new ways of dealing with situations that you cannot seem to overcome. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. This was Matt Singh signing out. Thanks for watching.